Let's go. Hello, welcome to the Lord's Day. Very beautiful one. It is this Sunday, the 20th day of November 2022. And this is your live boy today telling you to cheer up because help is on the way. We are reading from the Acts of the Apostles in chapter 9. I will be reading just about three verses beginning from the 32nd verse. If you are set, quickly let's go. Now, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints that lived at Lydda. There he found a man named Enos, who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Enos, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose, and all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him and they turned to the lord this is the word of god thanks be to god the acts of apostles like every other part of the scriptures are true happenings that occurred at one particular point in time or the other but this happened in the early church in the first century a.d Jesus was no more physically with them, but he had promised them that the Holy Spirit would take control. And he had also said while he was here that you have not asked me for anything right now, but a time will come when you will ask anything in my name and it will happen. This was the kind of thing that happened when Peter called upon the name of Jesus and on that basis told inners to arise after being bedridden for eight years. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been ill before? Thank God, I've had very good health. Glory be to God. But about two years ago, I was down with COVID. Maybe for about three weeks, going to a month. And another set of few weeks for recovery. But during those days, I was miserable. I was tired. I could tell you that I was, I was dead and resurrected again because I started seeing all kinds of visions, seeing myself coming out of the body and seeing the body on the bed and having all kinds of hallucinations. And, you know, it was a miserable time for me, not only for myself, for my wife, for my children, for the few close people that were detailed to take care of me at that point in time. Now, that's just for three weeks. So I I'm trying to imagine going through that for one whole year. Wow, that would be killing. And then for two years, three years, up to eight years, that was the misery that this man went through. And yet, when it was time for Jesus to raise him from his sick bed through the hands of Peter, it happened. So what is it that is troubling you right now? And for how long have you been in that troubled setting? Is it about yourself? Is it about your business? Is it about your career? Is it about your education? Or is it about somebody around you? Your husband, your wife has been giving you a lot of concern. Your parents, your son, your daughter. Whatever it is that is troubling you. There is no human being that does not have one challenge or the other. I have mine. And as I'm preaching to you now, I'm also telling God that, God, I'm going to cheer up because I believe that you are still on the throne and you are able to deliver me. You are able to do exceeding abundantly above all I can think or ask for. Therefore, why would you also not say so? Why would you also not think so? Cheer up, my brother, my sister. 
Is it about the situation in this country? Poverty all around you? Killing? Maiming? Kidnapping? Cheer up. Help is on the way. The name of Jesus is going to work mighty wonders in this country. And if there is any part for you to play to, go out. Especially since the elections are coming now. Don't sell your votes. Go out. This may be one of the ways that God is coming and bringing help your way. Vote for people that will ensure that we have more security in this land, that poverty is dealt away with, and that all kinds of instabilities become history in this country. Are you a Christian? So that you can also use the name of Jesus to change situations around you? If you are, glory be to God. But if you are not yet a Christian, you need to come join us. You need to come join the assembly of already cheerful people. Are you set for that experience? Then say, Lord, I come to you right now. You have assured me to cheer up that help is on the way. I have been a sinner all my life. I am coming to you now. Have mercy on me. Change my story from today. Let me be able to say of a truth, help is on the way for me through Jesus Christ. Do it for me, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that prayer, welcome to the fold of Christ. Cheer up the more because more help is on the way for you that you became a Christian at all. is a certainty that help has come your way already. And so you need to grow in that faith. Find a Bible-believing church. I always recommend that if you happen to be in Oshogun or Shu State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church or OPS Extension in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools for now. Because very soon, help is on the way for us and will be on our permanent site. But for now, join us 5 o'clock on Wednesdays there in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools. Like I said, along with Yinkan and Kukinu Gordon Drive or OPS Extension or Shogu for our midweek services. And if it's on Sunday, like this, if you are hearing me before it's time for service, you can still join me by 10 o'clock today to have a celebration or Holy Communion service. And as you do that, the Lord will continue to strengthen you and cheer you up the more in Jesus' name. For all of us now, let's say this prayer. Say, Father, I patiently wait for your divine visitation, which is never too late, so that I can be cheered up the more through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Cheer up. Help is on the way. Amen. I call you faithful.